so hi guys in this video we are going to set up tailwind css with vanilla javascript uh, we are not going to create any react or view project just plain old vanilla javascript so let's start let's just create a normal javascript project so before starting anything else uh, let's go ahead and install node.js uh, simply go to google type in node.js and go to the downloads page and simply install this uh, any of the versions available uh, most users should go with the uh, stable version and uh, with that you should have node.js and npm both installed into your computer after that let's go ahead and open up a terminal to check the version uh, for example i have the version 14.15 uh, so after this i want to initialize a new npm project using npm init it will ask you for the package name uh, leave it empty or put any description that you want up to you uh, I'm leaving all these things empty and hit yes now let's go ahead and install the tailwind CSS package and watch so watch is another package that will be used to in conjunction with your tailwind package uh, they both will work uh, simultaneously to uh, provide a seamless experience uh, also add uh, hyphen D for uh, adding them to the tape dependencies with this we can see that uh, I have these things installed and uh, no need to worry about these warnings which are there. Uh, you can uh, simply ignore them for the most part. And moving ahead, let's open this thing in our VS Code. So if you haven't installed VS Code, you should. Uh, it's a great uh, code editor. And here you can see this is our empty uh, new project created, right? With two dev dependencies that are Tailwind CSS and Watch. Uh, so you see the tailwind version is 3 and watch version is 1.0.2 so with this uh, i want to create a folder structure uh, for our project uh, so let's create it let's get a source folder src uh, inside of that source folder let's create another file that is styles.css then on the same level i want to create one more folder that is public Okay, I think the, we are done with the folder structure here and we can move to the next part. Uh, let's configure Tailwind CSS here now. So I'll create another uh, CSS file here that is styles.css in the public folder as well. And in the package.json, I'll try to configure these uh, scripts for the Tailwind uh, library. Let's head over to the Tailwind's official website, installation page. And there you can see uh, some commands that are given over there. So basically I'm interested in these three lines of code that you need to put in your input.css file or the CSS file inside your source folder basically in our case. So they will uh, include the Tailwind uh, library, uh, the Tailwind library framework inside of your project basically. So with that done, Let's try to modify these scripts actually. I'll add my own script here. Let's call it build CSS. And I'll just copy paste these commands in description or somewhere so you can copy them or directly into your project. So basically I'm uh, providing these two styles.css file from our source folder that is uh, input.css as per the documentation and hyphen o is referring to the output file that is inside the public folder styles.css and make sure to initialize the hyphen hyphen watch command uh, that will actually watch our entire project for uh, any changes and reload the CSS. I am also configuring other script that is uh, watch. So there we needed a escape character uh, because of the double quotes thing. So uh, this is the input file that we are referring to in our command and this is the output file again.
input and output that's it okay i think with that we have our scripts all set up correctly and we can move to the next step now let's initialize the css project a tailwind css project to be precise uh, i'm i'll open the terminal in my vs code and i'll write npx tailwind in npx tailwind in it so it has configured a tailwind uh, config file for me and uh, as you see on my fold in my folder tree uh, i have a tailwind.config.js so i need to add some things to this file as well So I'm including my public folder inside of this and including all the star.html files. That includes all the HTML files uh, inside the public folder. I've created an empty tailwind, uh, empty HTML document here actually. Now with that done, we are mostly done with our uh, installation of Tailwind CSS into our project. Let's go ahead and write Tailwind npm run build CSS script that we have written. This is the custom script that we have written here in our package.json. You can name it anything else as well. Now when I run this script, you will see uh, if you haven't created the styles.css in the public folder earlier it will be automatically created now so if you have created it no worries if you are not uh, then it will automatically appear so i want to link this uh, styles.css in my html and now let's uh, try to use this so now i'm just creating a dummy html file to test this thing out I've also started a live server. Let's add a Tailwind class as well, text-3xl. And you will see that uh, as I refresh this, automatically uh, the text gets larger. And that is because of the Tailwind class that we have uh, used there. So now uh, our uh, installation has been complete. Uh, you can uh, turn off the video right now. Or uh, if you don't want to, then uh, we are going to go into a little bit more detail. Uh, about how this thing is actually working so let's go ahead and do that so if i go into this uh, styles.css public file and uh, try to search for a green color let's search for a green text green class and you will see that there are no results actually uh, and uh, that's because we have not used uh, text green till now so now if i write text green text hyphen green class so this is actually a tailwind class and uh, let's use the color as well 600 so now i have used this class in a html file and if i hit, re hit refresh you will see uh, that the color of the text changes but now if i go inside my styles.css public class now there is one extra class here so uh, i tried to demonstrate how this thing is working actually internally it only uh, uses the or inputs the class which you are actually using inside of your project and uh, does not use it uh, does not brings in or puts all the classes that are available for you for example there might be thousands of colors but i have used green so it will only pick up the green class and include it in your styles.css so that's it for today i guess and uh, we'll see you in the next video thank you